we are going to be sharing something that was emailed to me and then I forwarded it to Chris and I said, let's look at this. The top Etsy niches and searches in 2024, it's a full list and I believe I'm going to pronounce this wrong, maybe right. It's Marmalade or Marmalade. I don't know, but they actually posted this on their blog. They also emailed it out. Chris, could you pull that up for us so we can actually dig through this and we can see exactly what they're talking about? So I think this is interesting. Um, they're going to be going through the top Etsy searches in 2024 with popular keywords, but it also is the types of products. So Chris, can we scroll through this a little bit? Yeah, so it came to us from Marmalade, and I think you said they emailed this out. It also popped up on their on their blog. And Scott, before we dive into this, as I'm getting down to the actual keywords, what are your thoughts on just focusing on keywords as what's important for SEO? Well, I'm okay. So I'm I'm not looking at this as okay. These are the top keywords, so this is the the keywords that we want to use. Um, what I am looking at is like, did this come from their tool? Or did this come from Etsy themselves directly? Because Etsy does also a quarterly report on a lot of their top searches. And those are the ones that I kind of want to really pay attention to. But what I'm looking at here is like, this is still useful information. And so what it does for me is it, it shows me certain areas, certain topics, or certain trends that are getting searches. This allows me, if I'm a new person, seller and I don't know my niche, this is a great way to kind of see and expose different areas of Etsy that I might be interested in starting a brand around. Um, also, it's a way for me to look at it and go, is there something here that lends itself to, uh, you know, to our brand, you know, that we're building right now. Um, so not everything will apply, but it is something that I'm going to want to look through and say, okay, this is something that's trending, or this is something that people are into. Um, maybe I can add that to it. For an example, if you're not in the wedding niche, but you're in the baby niche, is there something that you could cross promote? Could you, is there something that you could create for someone that's getting married, but also has a baby or something for a, uh, if you're doing like, I don't know, baby, uh, you know, baby's first Christmas or something, right. And, or baby's first year and you're doing all that. Is there something that you could also put in there that would be related to, uh, baby within the wedding or maybe, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm drawing a blank here, like a flower child flower or girl, girl, flower boy. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Like would that allow us to see that? So that's kind of how I'm looking at this, Chris. Yeah. And I, I would say anytime you see like a giant list of keywords or you're using a tool to help you find keywords, you should not be saying, this is the golden keyword, right? Like this is the one thing. And I think one thing I enjoyed about the way that Marmalade laid this out is they talk about all the keyword research and then they organized it, Scott, almost by niche, right? So it's by category, yeah. but we can come in and look at these on kind of a niche by niche basis and use that as a starting point to say, hey, maybe some of these would be a good idea for a way to niche down inside of something like weddings, or maybe these are good product ideas, or maybe there's a better way to describe my product based on what people are actually typing in. And so was there a specific place you wanted to dive into? Like, No, weddings, actually what I wanted you to do is rather than dive to them is scroll. I, I wanna yeah. see, I wanna get to the, yeah, I wanna get here. So top Etsy, yeah, I wanna, I wanna get into that stuff. Um, so like right here, okay? So here, here are some of the Etsy searches for wedding and celebration. So we have baby shower, bachelorette party, cake topper, wedding. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking at this. Now, if you're in the wedding niche, you wanna see this, right? And you wanna go, okay, and we've talked about this, right? If you're gonna break into a big niche like wedding, which we've talked about, is a good strategy, then you might wanna start with wedding favors, right? And then you can add all of these other sub things, bachelorette party, okay? Uh, we have wedding guest book, we have wedding invitations, wedding signs, right? So that's what we're doing there. Okay. What a wonderful world. Um, so, okay. I'd be so, careful with that one. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Um, scroll down a little bit though, Chris. So where it says top Etsy search, no, back up again, real quick, the gift giving. So top Etsy searches for gift giving. Well, we're not in the gift giving niche necessarily, but let's see if anything is here that's worth paying attention to that we could then adapt to our niche or get ideas around. So let's kind of keep going here. So, okay, anniversary gift for him, anniversary gifts, um, best friend gifts, boyfriend, bridesmaid, 
um, engagement gifts, gift box, gifts, gifts for boyfriend. You get the idea, right? Now, another little trick you could do here too, is you could just go to Etsy and put gifts for, and then let it see what populates. And that's going to probably give you a really good indication of like, what's the top searches. Um, groomsman gifts. There we are. We can now straddle that with wedding, right? So you have wedding and then we have groomsmen. So we can kind of use those two together. Okay. That's interesting. And I think the, the way I would probably use this one is mostly on that product side. So fishing anniversary gift, fishing, best friend gift, fishing yep. boyfriend gift, right? What are the products that we can create and then make sure we're incorporating those gift specific keywords one, because we know that they're highly searched and two, because it's going to help us show up inside of gift mode. So we see a lot of different things here, getting down to like teacher gifts, personalized gift, right? Sure. Personalized gift for fishermen is going to be something that we're doing. So we're not just taking this because we're probably not going to compete for the word personalized gift, but we are going to be able to compete for something like personalized fishing gift or personalized groomsman gift or something like that. Yep. If we're using the niche based approach. Yep. Yeah. So keep on going. So keep on scrolling. So you have uh, for home decor. So now we're into home decor. We have apron, uh, baby blanket, bed frame queen, right? So all of these now go back to the top there real quick, Chris, right there. Yeah. So apron, right? No, where it says apron. So like, so think about this for a second. Like, let's say for example, um, you're in, like Chris was saying, like maybe you are in, um, uh, I mean, this is under home decor, but let's just say that you were into rustic, uh, or farmhouse decor, right? Maybe you create an apron because it's a popular search with something that's kind of Southern, like a Southern saying or something, right? So you would take something, even though you're selling like rustic wood or rustic farmhouse stuff, right? Does that mean you can't sell an apron that would then pertain to that style? No, because people are using aprons in the kitchen of a farmhouse kitchen, right? So that's kind of how I'm using this list. I think that's interesting. Yeah. I think the only two that might not apply there are like map of Florida. Yeah. <laughs> right? right. Um, which I think it's 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 interesting to look at that and say that uh that is the one state that made it. And then you also have map of USA. But again, if we're taking the niche-based approach, all of these things are potential products for us, right? So going back to your your thought here, Scott, rustic, right? So rustic bed frame, rustic bedding, or rustic feel, uh, sure. you know, cabin feel, whatever we're yeah. going for as the niche, if we have a design style, we can apply that. Same thing here betting for people who love fishing, right? right. Fishing bunk beds. Um, if that's really what we want to do, uh, fishing candles, fishing mugs, fishing coasters, right? All mm -hmm. of these kinds of things we can just put the niche based angle on. And this is a great way to find a ton of product ideas that we can then go validate and make sure that people are actually buying. In our yeah, this is great. And we'll, we'll link up the article, uh, in the description. So you guys can, uh, you guys can go check this out. Um, this is from Marmalade. I believe is how you say that I was corrected. Uh, so that is how you say it. So let's look at top Etsy searches for outdoor and gardening. So let's see. So we have Laurel, uh, planter plants, solar succulents, terrarium. Okay. Interesting. And, uh, you know, again, like if you're in that niche, you might be saying, Oh, solar. I didn't think of that or succulents. Oh, maybe terrarium. Okay. You know, so there's some things there that you can definitely, um, build on. Okay, pet supplies. Let's look at this. What do we got here? A cat collar, dog collar, dog tag, and pet portrait. Okay, so they give you four, um, you know, for that. Keep on rolling through here, Chris. Aloe vera, hair accessories, nails, press on nails, soap. All right. Now, these, now, Chris, these are very broad terms, but to your point, you might take something from this if you're in this space and know that at least these are some of the top searches, right? So aloe vera, like that might be something that if you sell soap, you might want to include, right? That might be something there because people that are putting aloe on their skin probably put soap on their skin, right? I love that. And if I you're selling so. fishing stuff, soap to get rid of the fishy smell from your hands, right? right Obviously, we right. need a better product title than that. But it doesn't mean that just because we're not in the health and beauty space that we can't sell these types of products. Look at this type of thing and then say, how can I apply this to my niche? Uh, top Etsy searches for jewelry, Scott. Mm -hmm. uh, bracelet, choker, crystal necklace, ear cuff, right? These are all just kinds of jewelry 
yep. that I'm seeing here. I'm not seeing anything really stick out beyond that at this point. Electronics and accessories, a category most people don't actually think about when they think about the Etsy ecosystem. Um, well, yeah, because it's interesting to me. Well, and I was going to say, so like, let's say, for example, you're selling phone cases, right? So you have Apple iPhone 11 looks like a, a search, a top search, Apple watch band, uh, Apple watch series three. So these are ones that you're like, oh, well, maybe I should create one for my, you know, for the bass fishing lover, uh, gift that you're making a iPhone case for, right? The thing that really stuck out to me here was that if we're doing that, it looks like it's not even the newer devices. No, it's right? the older like, How many iPhones are, what are we, 14? <laughs> like, 15. Right? So we're, uh, you know, we're at six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 seems to be the, the top one there. And so it tells you something about the Etsy ecosystem, right? If somebody's buying a brand new device, maybe they're not looking at Etsy right now for that case. But once they've had it for a little while, that's yeah. when they really start to look at this. And if we're in a niche, then we need to pay attention to something. Toys and games. Toys and games. Dice. Dice tray. D&D &D dice. Fidget spinner. Hand spinner. Miniatures. Puzzle. Yeah, these are great. Uh, for existing IP. So a, <laughs> I like that on this one, they called out. <laughs> and then they said, hey, and also, please don't use these. <laughs> That's right. hysterical. Yeah. Okay. We can skip by those. I mean, yeah. it's interesting okay. to see that uh, Chick-fil-A is in there, you know? Yeah. Arby's Chick-fil-A. Like what, are, what are people selling? Is it like collector's cups? Maybe, maybe um, used French fries. There you go. Vintage Chick-fil-A fries um, would probably be a good one. Also uh, do not sell these things. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like just, let's just add on their disclaimer there. Uh, search for clothing. Yep. Right. So baby onesies, right? Make sure if you're using that keyword that you are selling a onesie, that is a trademark right. term. Uh, bikini, bridesmaid Bridesmaid robe. robes. Uh, does that count as a keyword for clothing? If we just put the name of the category in there? I don't know. I mean, but it, obviously, could. Uh, it we're, could. We're going to naturally include that in the listing anyway, if we're doing clothing. So it's not something we necessarily have to think about. This one stood out to me, Scott, just because it's a specific kind of a robe. So yeah, maybe we have bridesmaids robes, but also we have a bridesmaids kimono, right? Even if yep. it's a similar design. Yep. Or we include that because we see that there's uh, a lot of sales volume there and it's easier for us to stand out there rather than in the broader bridesmaid robe category. So again, you know, not, not a huge surprise in the clothing category here. Accessories. Uh, Accessories again, right? <laughs> badge reel. Uh, somebody was asking us in the chat on one of our live streams to talk about badge reels for nurses. Apparently that is a, a, a big deal, right? Anybody that has one of those swipe cards would be using something like that. And it is one of the few places that people in a lot of different professions have to show off their love for different things. So keep that in mind if you have the niche-based approach going on. Um, washable mask, uh, mask, patch, pin, scarf, sword, is not one that I would have expected to pop it up in there really? and yeah. wallet and watch. Bags and purses, backpack bag, uh, it a bag. I'm assuming that's some uh, a specific kind of bag. Somebody correct me in the comments. Leather, makeup, and tote. And keep and keep in mind, like you can you can um, uh, print on demand. You can print on demand bags. So like that's a that's a great thing there. Um, here, uh, we're looking at air force one croc charms, like, yeah, potentially croc charms, but you gotta be careful because you don't want it to be as though you're infringing on crocs or air force one, um, shoes is generic slippers is generic sneakers is generic craft supplies. Craft supplies. Yep. Okay. I'm not even trying this one. Somebody, uh, give me the phonetics in the uh -uh. comments, if you will, uh, yep. <laughs> beads, canvas, charms, crochet, crochet pattern, right? All of the lumber. There you go. There's a good one. Macro go. magnifying glass, sewing patterns, washi tape, um, paper and party supplies. Yeah. Yeah. Which interestingly is a different sub, uh, subcategory. Um, yeah. 2024 calendar, advent calendar, birthday cards, right? These are fairly straightforward. Nothing really stood out to me here other than there's a couple specific kinds of cards, 
uh, that show up here. So if you are creating cards, double check that list. Chris, before you get into the uh, digital downloads uh, section here, I just want to uh, remind people that uh, we're going to leave the link in the description. So if you uh, if you want the link and you want to go through these yourself, um, we'll go ahead and we'll link that up in the description. So you have it from Marmalade. All right. So yeah, the Etsy searches for digital downloads. This will be interesting. Canva template, clip art, digital art, digital download, digital planner, digital print, digital prints, digital products, ebook, Lightroom, Lightroom presets, logo. All right, th these are all great. I mean, so if you're noticing like Notion template, right? So these are brand names. These are trademark names. But if you're creating a template for them, there should be no reason that you can't do that because you're actually selling it for the device. You're not saying, hey, I'm Notion and I'm creating a template. You're like, these will work. Um, as a notion template is kind of what, it, what you're doing there. Um, Twitch overlay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the, these four are the ones that really stood out yeah, to me. That's interesting. Uh, so, you know, um, emotes. So like emoticons, the overlays yeah. and then VTuber, which Scott, if you're not familiar with the terminology would be when somebody shows up as like an animated character on YouTube doing a live, that mm -hmm. would be a, a VTuber, right? So apparently they sell VTuber models on okay. Etsy. Uh, who knew? right? Uh, definitely a digital product, definitely a very niche type of a thing, yeah. but a very interesting opportunity. Uh, arts and collectibles. So again, okay. the, the stuff that we would expect here, right? Art prints, metal wall art. The one thing that stood out to me here, Scott, what's the one thing people talk about all the time that's not on this list? Canvas? Yeah. It's interesting. Which, which must just fall under like wall art or wall art. Yeah. Prints. Yeah, but it's it's interesting to me because the way that I would search for that, and I think the way that you would search for that would be like canvas. fishing, uh, fishing art on canvas or something yep. like that. I would so I would just, probably start the search with canvas because I'd want to make sure it was canvas. It'd be like canvas bass fishing scene or something, right? Yeah. Um, okay, spirituality and religion, big niche. Yes, this is this is good. Um, bloodstone. Oh, wow. Okay. Crystals, tarot, tarot cards, tarot deck. Okay. We've done some videos on that. So we know that that's pretty popular. Um, top it's search for vintage. Cool. Um, fire King and vintage t-shirt. I would have thought there would have been more there for that. Somebody, somebody let me know what fire King is, uh, as yeah. long as it's internet appropriate, uh, yeah, in please. the comments. Cause I, I'm lost on that one. Uh, descriptive keywords. Yeah. Let's see this here. So oh, things we printed? should be adding to our descriptions. Got it. Okay. Al Alabama must be a popular uh, area. Okay. So uh, alcohol, anime, baby, bed and breakfast, boho, coffee. Co yeah, this is this is actually useful. This is really uh, useful. I'm not sure how that's mm -hmm. a descriptive descriptive one, Declaration of Independence, but we'll go with that. Uh, do it yourself or DIY, dog, yep. dragon, yep. right? Looks like state names or location names are a big thing. Just looking okay. at this list. Yeah, Hawaii. Uh, Magnum PI. No, Hawaii. Huh. Magnum PI. Century. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Statue of Liberty, Steampunk. Turks that, that's a good list right there. That's a good list. Yoga. Yeah. Okay. So I think the, the thing, the thing I'm gathering from this descriptive list is a few different things. If it, and you and I talk about this all the time, it should be who it's for or what it's about, right? Mm -hmm. And what we're seeing there is a lot of location-based things, a lot of things that call out design or specific locations, be it a country, a state, a city, any of those kinds of things. So if those are relevant, you should always be including exactly who it's for or exactly what it's about, where it's from yep. inside of the title and description. Cool. Yeah, so that that's the little list there um, that Marmalade put out for us. And uh, I think it's a great list. I would use this list to basically just bring the awareness to me as far as, okay, these are, these are some things that are either descriptive words, uh, add on words that we can add on or a certain type of product that we might be able to say, Oh, maybe we should put some of our stuff on that because people are buying that type or people are buying aprons. Oh, cool. Can I create an apron for my niche? Maybe. Um, so that's how I would use this list and just really to allow, uh, ourselves to see that there's, these are keywords that are supposedly getting searched for the most. And we don't know where they got the data from, if it's from their tool or if it's a, you know, from Etsy themselves, but it's actually good because there's some of these things that I wouldn't even have thought of. So definitely take these 
use them to bring inspiration, but also maybe open your eyes to different areas that you might be able to, uh, well, either create products or add some of these descriptive words onto your current keywords that might open it up a little bit more for more traffic.